could you start off by introducing yourself please my name is shafiqur rahman please call me shafiq i'm working for a company uh, which manufacture motorcycle i am a mechanical engineer um, at this moment i am working as a deputy general manager of, of my company all right uh, can you tell me something about your hometown or where you grew up uh, my uh, hometown actually bogura is the uh, northern north part of bangladesh um, i born in this uh, in that uh, town um, in 1978 uh, and i i was uh, raised up uh, up to uh, 1992 in this uh, in that town so it's a very nice uh, lovely town okay uh, what are some of the interesting parts of your town uh, the main interesting part that i can tell you that uh, people are very lovely here uh, people are very cooperative and uh, and they have uh, every people have a very good relationship with them and there is a very good strong community also uh, there is a river beside the town and uh, there is a, a very nice picturesque scene you can uh, find here okay how do you think your town has changed over the last 10 15 years uh with the last 10 years there is a, a rapid change that i have observed uh, in my town uh, the town has uh, grown up uh, from a small town to a, a, a city i think uh there the and the electricity problem was solved and uh, also the uh, government has taken lots of initiative to, uh, to make the uh, recreational activity in the town so uh, three more uh, parks uh, were built up uh, within last uh, 10 years so overall there is a good progress uh, it's now uh, not a, a small town anymore is that i can tell it is a city now all right Uh, now let's talk about shopping. What kind of things do you generally shop for? Uh, regarding uh, shopping, uh, I usually uh, purchase uh, the uh, the grocery items that my uh, family need. Uh, however, if I need to purchase any clothes, uh, then I actually dependent on uh, on my uh, family. Uh, either my uh, wife or my mother uh, keep company to purchase the, the uh, clothes that I need. Um, otherwise, the, uh, any necessary item that I need to purchase for the family, I do it myself. All right. What would you recommend tourists to buy from your country? Uh, Bangladesh is a very lovely country and tourists here can purchase many other things you may know that Bangladesh is one of the largest exporter of ready made garments so tourists here can purchase the world famous brand with a very good price definitely the quality of the product very 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 nice also um people here uh, can purchase the shoes uh, because uh, bangladesh is also a good exporter uh, for uh, shoes uh, besides that i think that uh, there are uh, there are many traditional clothes uh, that are available in bangladesh uh, which uh, tourists uh, I, i should recommend to purchase all right at this point we will move on to the q card section you will have a topic and then four questions related to the topic you will have one minute to prepare yourself during which you can use a paper and a pencil to organize your thoughts after one minute of preparation you'll have to speak on the topic for one and a half to two minutes you will not be allowed to look at the questions when you begin speaking if i stop you at the two minute mark do not take that as an indication of how well your exam is going are the instructions clear yes it's clear all right I'll share the question with you. Mm. Please give me a confirmation as soon as you can see it. Yes, I can see. Give me one minute to prepare. All right, you have one minute to prepare mm -hmm. yourself. You may begin when you're ready. All right, your one minute is over. Can you begin speaking?
Okay. Although I know many teachers who are very popular among uh, students, today I like to describe uh, about a teacher who is the most popular uh, teacher that I have ever seen. Uh, his name is uh, Dr. Ehsan, who is the um, who is a professor at the engineering university he is a professor uh, for the mechanical department of that university uh, to be honest with you he he looks very simple and uh, very slim uh, he's not uh, fatty or not uh, uh, any tall uh, height but overall he has a good personality which which attract which easily can dis distinguish uh, him from other uh, people. Moreover, he has a good personality. Uh, that is the reason actually why uh, the uh, student uh, like him. Um, the, the main point I can tell about him that uh, he, when he teach, uh, then he, uh, he teach uh, the, the student uh, with his great sincerity. Moreover, he always uh, helpful um, if any teacher if any student uh, come to him for any suggestion or any help, uh, personally, I, uh, I, he was my uh, supervisor and also uh, he was my project coordinator and uh, I get a uh, lots of help uh, from him from the uh, related project. Um, and that is the reason actually why uh, this uh, uh, this uh, professor is very popular uh, among the students. Unlike the other uh, uh, government uh, teacher uh, or public uh, of uh, pub, uh, pub, uh, public university, he is always helpful. He write down the, all the things uh, on the on the blackboard instead of uh, showing the, um, the projector uh, of the topic. He 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 always uh, encourages students to write down the note. Uh, moreover, he uh, give uh, many. Um, many things outside of the uh, syllabus and that's his, uh, overall he's a very helpful and that's the reason he's very popular among his students. Thank All you. Right. I'll pause you right there. We're going to move on to the next part of the speaking test now. <clears throat> Let's talk about education in school. What can schools do to help students prepare for the next stage in their lives? Um, the school have a great influence uh, for the education um, for a student. Uh, in my opinion, that a student uh, it, it, school can uh, teach uh, not only uh, the syllabus that uh, according to the um, course curriculum, but also uh, teach student about the moral value. Um, more, uh, furthermore, they, uh, they will uh, encourage student to do some uh, recre recreational activities like the uh, cricket, uh, swimming, and many other things. Uh, this this is the reason actually uh, 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 I think that the parents uh, send uh, their uh, uh, kids uh, to the school instead of doing the home schooling. All right. Next, what can <clears throat> schools teach children that they cannot learn from their parents? Uh, there are many things uh, that uh, uh, school um, uh, teach uh, that uh, that they cannot get. Uh, Thing from the from their home. Uh, one example I can say that the discipline uh, and the cooperation with uh, in, a, in with the other people. Uh, because in the school there are uh, varieties of students from different class, uh, different section of the society uh, come and to, uh, and uh, uh, learn together. That's why the uh, the school uh, help them to uh, to have a cooperation, to, to build up a cooperation, to give a social value. Uh, moreover. Um, the way school uh, um, manipulate this uh, student, it helps them to, uh, to develop the discipline and punctuality. Uh, and although there are many things uh, that uh, school can provide uh, to develop the um, uh, moral value of the student, um, I think that this is the most crucial thing. All right. Now let's talk about education after school. Uh, what do you think are some of the major differences between schools and universities? Um, schools are for to develop the moral value. Although the school school uh, focus on the um, on the um, to complete the course curriculum so that they can uh, get uh, some uh, knowledge uh, about uh, uh, about a different kind of subject. Uh, however, a school. Uh, more focus on the 
some uh, some uh, character building like the punctuality as i mentioned uh, discipline uh, and many uh, many other things on the other hand in the university actually uh, help uh, help the student to develop their career uh, say uh, when a student is studying in the mechanical engineering so uh, they are not uh, producing the uh, engineer they are uh, giving the student uh, to so to solve a problem when uh, how to solve a problem when they face any 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 related things uh, uh, in real world and they uh, and where they should look for the solution all right we'll conclude the speaking test here i'll give you a rundown of the overall scores that you have earned from the speaking test in terms of grammatical range and accuracy, your score is a 6 out of 9. I was able to understand everything that you were saying. However, you still make uh, you still did make a lot of grammatical errors in terms of tense formation and word formation, singularity, plurality, etc. However, meaning was never compromised. I was able to understand what you were saying. For lexical resources, which is vocabulary, your score was a 7 out of 9. You were effective and accurate with your vocabulary. However, if you want to get an 8, you need to be flexible, meaning you need to learn how to use a specialized words related to whatever sector you're speaking about. For fluency and coherence, your score is a 6 out of 9. Uh, your answers were on topic and relevant. However, you uh, had a lot of language-related hesitations and uh, you had self-correction or repetition of information occasionally and uh, you needed to repeat certain words in order to keep going or maintain your level of coherence. If you want to get a 7, you need to minimize any sort of language-related hesitations. In terms of uh, pronunciation, your score is a 7 out of 9. I was able to understand what you were saying easily. However, if you want to get an 8 or above, you need to have phonetic applications sustained throughout the entirety of the response. Your overall score for this particular speaking test is a 6.5. In your main exam, a tentative score should be between 6 and a 6.5. Do you have any questions? No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. And good luck for your test.